inside me is the beautiful coach Hannah. What we do is provide our students and a wider community some online classes, which we're still locked down because of the COVID-19. We've got three means of communication going on. We've got the YouTube channel, Facebook Live, and the Zoom application. We're going to be interacting with our students during the filming. Enjoy, guys. It's going to be an advanced GB2 D class. Let's get ready for the warm-up all together. You ready? Let's go. Star jumps. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Squats, let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Push ups. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice one, guys. Back up, let's go. Start jumps. One, Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Squats, let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Push ups. One, two, three. Four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice one, guys. On our backs now. Let's get ready for our chokes. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Feet on the floor, one foot on top of the knee. The elbow to me. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And change. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. Knees together, guys. Drop your arms around the legs. 
rolling down the spine. And then when you're ready, you're going to kick over. Okay, nice tricks down the back and down the neck. Nice one, guys. So once you've done that, any personal stretches you need, do that now. Grab a quick drink and we'll get started. Okay, guys, so we'll get ready for our first technique. So this week we've been working guard top. So that is, you know, working the position from the top position, breaking any guard that's in front of you, and then trying to pass. All right, guys, so coach, just uh, drop down on your, on your foot there. So this week, you know, we've been choosing like an open guard, a uh, nice common open guard play is where the, the person's making the, the, you know, the grips of, on the bicep with their feet, okay, and they're controlling the sleeve, so the spider guard, okay. So they're controlling the sleeve, all right. So we'll just try to whip over where we have been this week, and then we'll try and add on a few more things, okay. So the person's got the pocket grips on my sleeves here, all right. So straight away. My hands are a little bit ineffective now. So I'm gonna bring my hands up, I'm gonna make a pocket grip, and then I'm gonna bring the legs together as I do. I walk backwards and push the legs to the floor, okay, to get, kill them, that spider position. She still has all of my sleeves though, so I'm gonna cut my corner this way or that way. When I do sometimes you can trick as well, okay. Then I'm gonna heavily drop my shoulder onto the stomach, okay. To pass the guard clearly, I'm going to lift the legs as well to keep the person pinned on the back so they can't use the kinetic energy now to escape and get the guard back in. I lift the legs, okay? Step the leg deep so it's underneath both legs, tangling the legs. I still keep hold of the legs, and this hand, the one that's furthest away, comes over first, okay? And then I actually pinch, okay? And do not bring this one over here or anything like that, okay? This one's pinching and I'm clamping the hips, and then from there, later on, I can move up the top of the boat. So that was our first pass this week, okay? So I'm gonna, like I said, run over a couple, and then add more on to where we're up to this week. So now, same thing again, but now my opponent knows and I'm coming to the pants, so I'm going to walk backwards and drive the legs down. So they flare the legs, and now my arms are stuck. Okay? The legs are over. So I can't walk backwards, but what I can do here is I can walk forwards and then bring my hips forward. Head up, hips forward. Okay? Big hip thrust through. From there, and this is another way to, a good way to break the grips too, I'm going to step one leg over the head and then I'm going to collapse. Like I'm, like I'm a goalkeeper, almost diving for a goal, uh, for it to save a ball. Okay? So I'm going to step my leg over, and see how my legs come, and I'm reaching, and I'm always looking for the little hook there on that side. Okay? And then cross face, and then kill the, kill the legs on the other side. Okay, guys? So that was our number two. So, I'm going to show you one more time, and you guys are going to drill. Then I'm going to show you two more, okay? So again, partner has a spider guard, hold, running backwards, down. Right, left, right, left, trick your opponent, okay? Lift, table, collapse, okay? Onto them hips, one, two, with the spider guard, I go backwards, they flur, I run forward, step over, okay? Pass the guard this way. Alright guys, on three, one, two, three. Let's go guys, drilling.
Now this is one of my uh, favorite combinations of okay, going with spider guard, all right? Because often it's really challenging to uh, to to break down a high level uh, with the person, you know, a high level guy uh, to break down the spider guard, especially like running backwards, the flurring. You know, I try and run forwards, they go back to spider guard again, and then I'm running into other guards in danger as well. All right. So sometimes here, I realise this. I can't run backwards, I can't run forwards. So what I do is, I do a cross step, okay? So my left leg goes here into the crook of the knee. And I rip my arm away, all right? Breaking the grip on that side. Now I'm gonna pass the guard, but I'm not gonna jump that way, why? Because if the person's good here, I won't be able to strip, it's not as easy as you think, stripping this, this grip here. And if I run this way, I'm still in the guard, I should recover the guard. So I have to go the other way, but because people step on the leg of this, what they try and do then is, they try and step this way like this, okay, like this. And when you do that, you turn your back to your opponent and now, crack right, okay? You give the back away, okay? So it's not that. You, you break the, let's go from here. You break the grip here, one, and it's this leg, the one that broke the leg, comes back around, steps over the arm, over the leg, and onto the floor. Then you turn, and I'm on the leg here, so it could potentially be a foot arc or a leg arc or something, you know, brown belt on the ball that I could be going for, but I won't, I'll just continue to rotate around. But when I rotate around now, you see the, the spider guard is gone and I've passed the guard successfully. Even if I don't get to here, I could have went north-south, dropped on the north-south position, you know, wherever, okay? So, the key to this technique is the same leg, the same leg that breaks the grip, one, is the same leg that steps over two, rotation, okay? Heavy process. All right, guys, let's go. One, two, three. Okay guys, come on over and I'll, uh, we'll add another technique onto this, okay? So now I'm here, the person has the spider guard again, we talked about moving backwards, they flare, moving forwards, they re-get the guards, okay, walking into danger now, alright? So then, you know, from here we look at doing a cross step, okay? Sometimes I can cross step here, I start to move now, to step over, and then the person like keeps hold of this grip and then shuffles back. Let's go of the spider guard. Okay, and then shuffles back in. Yeah, try and sits up. Pushing the pushing the arm down. Okay? To, to survive the pass. Alright, so we'll try again. So come again. I try and walk backwards, they blur. I walk forwards and walk into danger, then we get the guard. So from here now, I break. And I start to skip, they go quick, away, frame it out, exactly, okay? And now, look, I'm nowhere near, and now they've got the good grip, and now, if they're playing guard, they're going to be ready to play guard again, get in, get in the grips and, and, and all the rest of it. Okay, guys, so how do we do this? It's challenging, because now that it's stacked up here, I can't step over the, the head, of course, I could jump or whatever. But it's not realistic, okay? Not for the, the, the common soldier, all right? So it's, it's, this is not gonna happen. And as you're walking this way, they're like foot scooting up exactly like this, all right? Trying to keep the guard. So what we do is, as we go like this, we move a little bit, I go jump. Okay, jump all the way to the inside. 
we're here. We break. I start cooking. Yes, technical stand. Almost. But just enough just to survive the pass. Now as I'm as thinking about the pass here, I go up like a superman. Jump to the other side. And why is this so successful? Because when I'm here going this way, look, this leg is up and this leg is down. So what I do is this leg, I look to just come on the inside here. It's not my first move. My first move is to jump really aggressively. I'm going slow and light for Coach Hannah, okay? But normally I like going to go, oh, okay? And I'm going to jump right there into that space. At the same time as this hand goes inside, doesn't matter if they've got the grip, this hand goes inside and this hand goes all the way to the shoulder. So I jump here, okay? And then you end up in this position. Now just be careful, don't have your head high, because if your head's high and the person's clever, you push your head into here, into there, into there, push the head into there, and then you can lock here, okay? So don't, don't have your head high here. Now, remember the rules. If, you, if the person had this leg here, there never used to be a pass. Okay, you had to clear this and then secure. But now the rules have changed, you can have the grip in the middle of the legs and you can actually uh, cradle the person and you can get your points here okay on your pass with your with your arm in so it's good and it's also a good control position okay so I actually I actually like when I'm a person on the bottom I, 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 I like if I'm on the bottom I like to put the arm in here to be honest helps me recover but now the rules have changed so if the person does that, they'll actually, they actually get the points there. If, they, if they, your back's on the floor and your arm's in the middle of the legs, they get the points now. You're not still in the guard. It used to be still inside the guard, okay? But the rules have changed. Okay, guys. So, where are we? We're here, spider guard. We're running backwards, they fly. We're running forwards, if you get a guard, we run into danger. So I cross step, break the grip. I start to come around. Exactly. From there, jump to the other side. Okay, and then if you cradle, you can rip out of the arm later on, control, whatever from there, guys. But we've got the pass, and we kill the guard. All right, and this jump over to the side, beautiful. All right, guys, but it's, uh, you've got to catch the timing. Okay, so make him think you're trying to pass, 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 switch. New direction. Okay, direction change. All right, guys, on three. One, two, three. Let's go, team. Amazing guys, what a great class. Hope you all enjoy it. Remember guys, stay safe, stay connected. I'll see you all tomorrow for some more great classes. Well done guys.